I'm your texting TV director, Manny Sinega, and you're about to watch Texting TV. Congratulations to Ms. Bella Fisher for being selected the Sam Houston High School Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to Perla Flores for being selected as District Student of the Month. She's an outstanding student who represented Sam Houston High School exceptionally well. Congratulations. Hi kids, I am Miss Visage and I'm your graduation coach. If you owe what are called ABS hours because of your attendance, you need to start working on that now. It doesn't matter what year you are, freshman through senior. Uh, do the ABS hours just go away at the end of each semester? No. Do they go away at the end of the year? No. They keep accumulating until you take care of it. They do not just get wiped out. If you are a senior in particular, you cannot graduate in May until these hours are taken care of. If you need to know what to do, um, everybody has the option to do online courses through what's called InfoBase, or you can do after school tutoring. You can also volunteer at um, events for the school on the weekend or after school. And if you are a senior, you are eligible um, for another option through essays and attendance. So if you want to check your hours, um, you can go online to do that. If you, especially if you're a senior, y'all, you're running out of time. Come on. Um, you need to make sure that you're on top of that and you can uh, come see me in office 819 or you can email me, but it's H V as in Victor I S A G E at AISD.net. <laughs> is it ready? Yeah. Hey, this is Daniel and you're watching QA. Oh. It's, it's your favorite, favorite trio, trio and you're watching, watching Texas TV. TV. <laughs> Would you rather give up social media or give up your favorite meal for the rest of your life? Social media. Why? I don't really be on it. You don't? Nah. Okay, well, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal... I like... I like uh, chilies. Um, it got ribs, fries, and a corn. That's my favorite meal. Really? Alright. And then... My favorite meal. Why? Because I need social media. I have other foods that I like. But you could rather eat the best thing ever and just give up posting on it. There's other stuff I like. I don't just like one thing. Like what's something else you like? Um, burgers. Um, is that your favorite meal? My or? favorite meal is hot wings. Okay, well, okay. Social media. Why? Uh, cause I need social media. Like, cause like I got like 10 D1 offers. I'm a five star recruit and yeah, they just, yeah, that's why. What about your favorite meal? Uh, I don't know. What's the question? That is, that a favorite meal is better than anything on a phone. Yeah. Uh, no. A meal? What's your favorite meal then? Uh, McDonald's. What? McDonald's. What? Why McDonald's? There's like, there's like way more better foods out there than McDonald's. I give up my favorite meal. Why your favorite meal? Because it's, it's hella food in the world. Well, what's your favorite meal? It could be chicken tenders. But why would you give up instead of like social media? Because I, I wouldn't give up social media because like I can't, I can't, I'm always on social media. You have a lot of followers? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say you're at? No, nah, I don't need no clout right now. I'm just chilling. Social media? Why? Because food is food. I can't get rid of that. What's your favorite meal? Um, probably milanesa or like arroz con pollo. One of the two. You want to give up social media because you don't have a lot of followers? Or? No, I don't really care about that. This is Avi. This is Brandon. And you're watching Texting TV. TV. My name is Ian Pierce. I am the psychology and AP psychology teacher here at Sam Houston. I am also sponsor of the book club and co-sponsor of the feminist club here at Sam Houston. I always found it really interesting, even at a uh, young age, mainly in high school, um, to think about how people thought uh, or why people did the things that uh, they do, why people act the way they do. I was always very interested in social dynamics uh, of how individuals act with each other um, and how we, we tend to uh, maybe hide things from each other and why that is. Uh, my very first day here at Sam Houston, I was hired like three days before school started. 
Um, I had, was a floating teacher. I had six different classrooms and a cart. Um, and I took that, that first week was painful uh, for both me and my students. It was probably very boring. Uh, but after about a month, I kind of got my feet under me and it was uh, really that moment when I first had a student tell me that, hey, Mr. Pierce, thanks for really understanding, helping me understand that. Like I didn't get it and now I get it. And I think it was at that moment that I realized, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, I would say the most challenging thing is trying to balance um, everything that happens inside the classroom uh, with what happens outside the classroom. I don't think a lot of students understand what is required of your teachers aside from just teaching during the class period. We have lots of lessons to write, um, meetings to go to, trainings to attend. There are forms to fill out anytime anything happens. Um, we do a lot of work outside of the classroom just to hopefully make things seem very seamless inside of the classroom. I will say I'm guided by one primary rule uh, and that learning should be fun. I think that in this, it's like my philosophy of education. In this country we have decided that for some reason school should be hard, you should hate it, and it should uh, stink and somehow that will build character when in reality um, all it does is teach you to hate learning and hate coming to school. So I want my class to be fun. I want you to wake up, come to school and be like, I'm going to Mr. Pierce's class and that's not a bad thing. A fellow teacher and, my, and I decided to uh, dress up and surprise our classes uh, by showing Back to the Future and both Mr. Burke and I dressed up in, in uh, costume and cosplay as Marty McFly and Doc Brown and we planned an entire skit uh, for each other's classrooms during our off periods to bust in the other's room and talk about going back to the future and surprise our students and I just remember uh, my students really getting into that and being so excited and I think that's probably one of the most memorable moments I have. This is Mr. Pierce. Thank you for watching my spotlight. Go Texans! Hey Texans, we are now working on our 2022 senior video. We're going to be shooting right here in the studio. Make an appointment to come by the studio. Contact our director right here, Manny. Make an appointment. Appointment only. I just want to make, make sure I emphasize that. I have people just showing up at 1505. It doesn't work that way. Set your appointment time. We have a 10 minute video. It's going to be played at graduation. We only have two weeks to make it. Okay, so uh, set up your appointment get down to the studio and be in the video. All right, looking forward to seeing you guys. Go Texans. You are invited to attend the Orchestra Spring Concert Thursday, May 12, 7 p.m. at the Center for Visual and Performing Arts located in 1900E Stanford Street. This will be a farewell to the seniors as they will be their last concert and we wish them their very best in their future. Hey Sam fam, we have new news about summer school. So this year, summer school will be held at Lamar High School. Breakfast and lunch will be provided and transportation from Sam to Lamar will also be provided. If, if you need to register, there will be a QR code right here. Make sure you do it as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carlos. Thank you for watching Texan TV. Thank you for sticking at the end of the video for more reviews. <laughs>